So this video I want to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about some of my most favorite things. And uh, first thing is my Black & Decker convection oven. So uh, that's what I bake all my polymer clay things on. And I want to show you how I set it up. So I'm going to apologize in advance for the uh, shaky camera because I'm holding this as I'm, as I'm doing it. So there's the inside. This is my usual tray that I bake on, on a piece of cardstock, and I'm usually covering it with a piece of tin from another baking pan that I cut up. Uh, there's my oven th uh, thermometer, and uh, take this off. I have a tile here, and once I take that off, I have a fire brick. Uh, placed between the heating elements and uh, I also have one on top of the the um, oven just to sort of help hold this. Now that fire bricks I got um, uh, somewhere where they sell uh, fireplaces and stuff. Uh, I bought these a long time ago because I used to solder on them but uh, they really help hold the the heat. Uh, ceramic tiles will do the same thing. Um, even regular bricks. Whatever you can put in the oven to uh, get that temperature to, to hold steady. So that's that's my favorite thing. And I use these little silicone mitts to pull my things out when they're hot. So this oven is great. It um, uh, set it for uh, an hour and six minutes that includes my preheating time and I generally put things in a cold oven and uh, it turns itself off so I never have to worry about it. Uh, another thing I found, I bought these on Amazon and um, they are little miniature pizza stones and they're also great for holding the temperature and you can bake right on them and they don't leave a shiny spot on your pieces so they're nice for that. Um, the uh, only drawback to, to working on them is the clay doesn't want to stick to them. So, so sometimes it's very ad advantageous for it to stick. Um, but so anyways, I'll use those on occasion. But usually I'm just using uh, index cards to bake on. So one of my other favorite things is my little rock tumbler. And I don't use it a lot, but I do use it for round beads or uh, beads like these Heshi beads that are have a sharp corner so I might tumble these for oh, seven or eight hours to help uh, soften up that corner a little bit and then uh, I'll usually just polish them sorry I went out of focus there so this is going to be very difficult to do with one hand but basically it it has a, a big washer and uh, you can use that washer to take help you take the pieces off so what I do is I've got, let's get that dumped out here. So this was a Duncan Hines container that had uh, icing in it. And it's just the perfect size with a lid to go in the uh, barrel. So let's see, this is going to be impossible to do with one hand. got the lid off and inside I've got uh, cut up pieces of 400 grit sandpaper so I'll, I've got I don't know a few inches of that put in there and I'll put uh, about uh, a third water and um, the tiniest little drop of um, uh, dishwashing soap in there and my beads and then put the lid back on and in the barrel it goes and uh, I go ahead and tum tumble them. So um, it, it um, you'll never get them nice and shiny. I, I don't have the uh, um, the right grits and stuff for that and, and I'm not even sure that even exists. But anyways it does sand them quite nicely. Um, generally my stuff is pretty smooth so um, it just it, it gets me to the point where I can take it, put it on a, a, a stick, and take it to my buffer and buff it up, and uh, so I don't need to touch it with the sandpaper. So that saves my hands quite a bit. 
so it, it's a it's a nice tool to have it's um, probably uh, not really really necessary but uh, if you've ever been curious about them that's what I do with mine so here's another one of my favorite tools and it's uh, a jewel tool and uh, I use it mostly for polishing although I do have some uh, sanding disc this one uh, is quite coarse and this one is extremely fine I don't use it as much as I should for sanding um, there's a bit of a knack to it but uh, anyways what I do is I just screw on these three inch uh, cloth wheels and uh, it it's works great as a buffer so I have that and I have one three inch wheel that um, I put uh, buffing compound on that came with the machine so th that helps to put that on first and then buff it afterwards with just the wheel so I'm, I'll turn this on you can see how quiet it is and uh, it's wonderful that's high speed and uh, Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Usually I wouldn't do it quite like that, but uh, there we go. So that's as much as I dare on that because really you need to concentrate while you're doing this type of thing. But that's, uh, I love this tool. It's um, rather expensive, but uh, if it broke down, I'd be buying another one because I like it that much. So that's my jewel tool, another one of my favorite tools. So here's another one. Uh, I just bought this one a little while ago and I've got a nice big fluffy 8 inch wheel on it. And uh, it's a big bench buffer and I'm just getting used to it now. Uh, it works great for bigger pieces. Uh, it, it's a little scary for the little pieces because they just want to fly out of your hands. Uh, the area that you work with is always this lower section. Um, that way if it uh, you lose control of it, it, it goes this way. But usually you don't if you, if you work in that area. If you work in this area, it's going to grab it and just spin it away on you. So it's pretty loud. I, I keep it um, on a low speed. So I'll turn it on. And you see, I don't have it bolted to my workbench. But I put the um, those rug gripper things underneath and it it doesn't travel around so it, it works pretty good it's a lot louder that's on low speed and really i never really put it up much past half half speed seems plenty fast enough and it actually does a wonderful job and i like having it not bolted because sometimes I'll move it out so that I can do bracelets and I can get my hand underneath it. Um, so that works pretty good. So while I'm showing you my big messy studio, uh, that's my Lucy Clay Slicer, which uh, I do love. Uh, I have the mini one too that uh, nine times out of ten I'm grabbing the, the little one. And uh, I use the uh, Lucy Clay um, um, extruders as well. They, they're really great tools. So that's some of the things that I'm working with here, uh, but mostly I wanted to address the, the oven issues because uh, that seems to be a big issue for people. Anyways, this was short and sweet and I hope you, you enjoyed it. Um, sorry about the shaky camera. I just, I can't hold this and, and film at the same time it seems, but um, I'll see you next week. Bye.